Hey everybody, Mike here and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my freezing cold shed. But we're going to turn that around because we're going to make some heat in here. Now, what are we doing? We are turning a Kelly kettle into a sand battery. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Kelly kettle is, it's something that they use in Ireland and in the meantime, I think all over the place to boil water for a cup of tea, a cup of coffee and whatnot. It is basically a tube that runs in between a vessel of water. So you fill this hole up with water, you put the fire in there, and then that thing at the bottom right there, and it boils a lot of water in a very short time, right? That's kind of the idea. Now, the thing is, right now it's freezing cold. I'm not gonna go fishing anyway. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna fill this up with sand, and then I'm gonna heat up the sand and use it as a sand battery. So boil water in the summer and you know for fishing and whatnot and in the winter time when it's freezing i'm going to use it as a sand battery that's all there's to it right now where did i get this idea from i did a sand battery video a couple of days ago and i wanted to do the next step right i saw someone that had a kelly kettle and said that that inspired him to make his own design using a big gas can whatnot and modify it and cut it up and roll it and whatever problem was that thing became very very heavy now this thing is basically already perfect it has a handle to carry it inside with cork on it so it's not hot right it already has a burn pipe it already has a, a container to hold the sand and the fire pit down here stays outside right so yeah we're going to fill it up with sand we're going to heat it up and we're going to do a test here we go Alrighty guys, well, um, the Kelly Kettle has been filled up with sand, it's uh, quite heavy, um, and I might need to add some sand later on when it settles. We got our little fire container here, as you can see, well used. And uh, we're going to start a little fire here. I got one of the fire starters that I explained how to make in an earlier video. We're going to light that one up. There you go. Uh, I got some scrap wood lying around here. I started wood turning last week, so got plenty of little pieces of wood to play with. I'll just throw that stuff in there and we'll give it a go. Right guys, and while that is uh, heating up, we'll uh, check the temperature of the sand as is. And uh, that is 0 0.2 degrees. So yeah, like I said, it's uh, kind of nippy in here. But we'll make it work, right? So the plan is to do a duration test and to see how it pans out, right? So first we're going to heat it up. Let's put this thing on here, and that will increase the flow a lot. All right, guys. Well, I'll let that heat up nicely, and then I'll get back to you guys when it's uh, scorching hot, because the whole plan is to see how long it will stay hot, right? Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, guys. Well, I decided to take it outside because a little bit too much smoke going on there. As you can see, it's getting proper hot right now. And uh, let's see what we're doing temperature wise. Okay, so that's 63, 66 Fahrenheit. Still quite cold on the top there. And obviously the fire is quite hot, right? So it does take a while which is great because it also means that it takes a long time to dissipate that heat once it is hot, right? Okay, catch you in a bit. All right guys, just wanted to give you a quick update. Let's see what we're doing temperature-wise. So it's about 162, 180, wait, 190. about 190 degrees, 200 degrees Celsius, and that is about 4, 
400 Fahrenheit or so. Let me try from a different angle. Yeah, about 400 Fahrenheit. Okay, catch in a bit. Well, this is kind of interesting. Um, you see a lot of uh, steam coming out of the opening where the sand's at. And uh, yeah, that's uh, moisture coming out of the sand, which is perfect, right? Let's do another temp check. Sorry about the noise, guys. So it's about 200, almost 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Even over 300. And that is about, I don't know, five, 540 Fahrenheit. Alrighty. All right, guys, as you can see, we're back inside and uh, it's freezing cold outside. Actually, in the shed right now, it's about minus 0 0.1. And that would be about 27F, okay? Now, uh, let's see, uh, we're gonna start the clock now. Let's see what the temperature reading is. So, we're gonna go and hit the bottom there. 200 and 300F, 300F, 308, 300 something in that range. Let's call it 300, okay? And in Celsius, that would be reading it jumps around a bit 150 or so all right guys well it's been uh, about an hour there's a lot of heat coming out of the opening where the sand is let's see how this is doing so it's let's see 100 and about a hundred and 105 or so F Something like that. Down here should be a lot hotter, and it is 200 something. It's jumping around a lot, but let's try and keep it steady. 240. It's getting kind of a weird reading, but it looks to be about 240, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And in Celsius, that would be 100 and. Well, well over 100 anyway, right? Alrighty, guys, so two hours in. Let's see what we got. So let's put the temperature reading on here. That is actually quite surprising. 224F, 225, and in Celsius, 105, let's say, yeah, about 105. That's after two hours. Pretty neat. Right guys, well, the three hour test, and I'm kind of curious whether I can actually touch the metal or not. That is scorching hot. No way I can touch that, right? Let's have a reading. Let's see. 200, 196, 200, 200F, and about... 90, it's jumping a little place, around 90 C, I would say. That's after three hours, right? Now, if you want to get the best out of something like this, the idea would be to kind of put some kind of insulation around this guy, right, while it's heating up. So you got those inflammable uh, blankets, right? You don't want it to lose heat while it's warming up, right? And once you bring it inside, you would kind of do the same thing where you would have the heat coming out of this pipe and then you would use some kind of ventilator or a fan or whatnot to blow that heat into the room, right? So I might do an experiment like that, but for now, we're gonna wait until it's four hours in. I'll come back and I'll measure it again. All right, guys, four hours in. Still a lot of heat coming out of there. Let's do a quick measurement. 88C, let's try and keep, no, uh, 75, 80, yeah, it's jumping a little place, let's say about 80, 80C, and about 160, 170F, something like that, right? That's four hours in, guys. 
Alright guys, well, uh, five hours in. This is going to be the last reading. Let's have a go. Let's see. Uh, in Celsius 80, 75, 83, around 80 degrees Celsius I would say, maybe a little bit more. Fahrenheit about 180, okay? So after five hours, I think that is amazing. Now, like I said in the beginning, the cool thing with the Kelly Kettle is it's or everything is already there. You got the handle, you got the fill opening for the sand, you got the burn tray, everything is there. And uh, come summer, I'm just going to rinse it out and use it to boil water again. That's all there's to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you did. And that said, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.